Okay, what's up everybody? Me and Autumn are going on a hike. What's the name of this hike called? Lava Lake. Lava Lake. Trailhead. In Big Sky, Montana. So if you're ever in Big Sky, this is a cool winter hike. It's about six miles and uh, about a 1600 elevation gain. Uh, gain. And uh, we've got some, uh, what do you call these? Yak tracks. Yak tracks and, um, what do they call these kind of things? Crampons. Yeah, crampons. And we got some crampons and yak tracks, whatever you want to call them, just so we can uh, go on this uh, icy trail. But check out the scenery. Got this beautiful river right here by the trailhead. And the ground is pretty much icy and slushy and snowy, so uh, we've got to make sure that uh, we're ready for it. There's Autumn's shoes. Yak tracks. Steeple. Yeah. You want to? Oh, do we have them in there? Yeah. Did we? All right, we're gonna get some ski poles because it's pretty treacherous, as you could tell. I don't know if uh, hiking poles are gonna be sharp enough to really dig in. Okay, take two. Autumn, show us your upgrades. Show me your upgrades. <laughs> all right, ski poles. This should help with climbing all this icy, treachery stuff. We've been hiking for uh, about an hour with about four breaks. <laughs> As you can see, it's very steep incline. So uh, kind of do switchbacks all the way up this mountain. And uh, narrow. pretty narrow. And it's kind of turned from slush to snow. But uh, it's beautiful like a winter wonderland. So a uh, couple things if you're going on a winter hike. One pole versus two poles. One. Autumn says one pole, she's been using two. And uh, I went back and returned my second one because I had to hold the camera, but I'm glad I did because I think two poles is more for like cross country skiing. Uh, one pole is sufficient to get your grip. Um, unless it was like super treacherous, but I think for the most part, 95% of applications, all you need is one pole. But the one investment you gotta make, if you're skiing and you like hiking, buy some crampons. Those are those little rubber things that go underneath your shoe, kinda like a one size fits all type of deal. It's like snow chains for your feet, for your shoes, and they work awesome. I'm glad you brought them on them. At first, I was like, oh, why do we want to bring these things? But they're so small, you just throw them up there. And for the very last trip, we were finally using them, which is great. And uh, yeah, you could do the hike without crampons, but it's definitely tricky, especially on the icy parts. Uh, and it gives you a little bit more confidence because it really does dig into the snow. So we're about an hour in. It's gonna take about two hours to get to the top. Once we're at the top, We'll uh, take a little lunch break, and then uh, we'll uh, give you the view. Watch your step. Has anyone been on the lake? Is it frozen? Uh, I don't trust it. Actually, no. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like some people are walking on it. Yeah. Let's camp over here.
Okay, it took us about an hour and a half to get up. Spent about an hour at the lake hanging out, making some videos, and now we're going back down. It's definitely a little tricky going down the, the uh, steep inclines, but uh, still a faster hike going down, and these poles really do help. Let's do a rating on this while we're walking. So uh, we're on our way down. It's probably gonna take us about 45 minutes. I would, take, I would think it'd take us about half the time. Going down usually is a lot faster. What'd you think about the hike, Autumn? It's beautiful. Scenery's beautiful. The end, you get a great reward for all the hard work you get to coming up the incline. Um, I'd say it's a 4.5. Yeah, I think so. I'd give it a four and a half. Uh, the views are great. Uh, it's a good workout. Not too strenuous. Hour and a half up one way is not too bad. And so four and a half for our rating here at Lava Lake, Big Sky, Montana. If you like this hike and you want to see more, make sure you comment below. Give me a big thumbs up if you can and subscribe to this channel if you love hikes, skiing, adventures, and real estate. Uh, this is your favorite homeboy signing out.